Today we're going to go over if you have no light on receiver box. One of the first things that you should check is make sure the key in the vehicle is in the on position. Second thing to make sure is the seven pin plug here is inserted correctly and not damaged. So you're going to pull it out and you want to inspect all the terminals and ensure that there's no damage or burn marks or anything like that. And then go ahead and plug it back in. Third, if you are not receiving power to your unit and you have power at your plug, there's harnesses ran on the back. So you wanna follow your seven pin wire harness and there will be a plug that plugs that harness to another harness. What you wanna do is go ahead and unscrew it, pull it apart and you wanna inspect the pins and the other connector. Make sure there's no damage on those also. If there's no damage, go ahead and stick it back together. It only goes in one way. Go ahead and tighten it back down. And if there is no damage and you still have no power, we suggest replacing the harness that has a seven pin to this point. So the fourth thing you wanna check is the fuse in the box and make sure light is blinking inside. So what you'll do is you'll pop these two pieces right here, the clamps, flip that down. And if you do not have lights inside this box, there is a small 10 amp fuse right here. You wanna go ahead and pull it out and inspect it and make sure that there is on the little metal piece inside that is not broken. If it is broken, replace it with a good 10 amp fuse and reinsert it. And at that time, go ahead and close your box and on the bottom, if you hold your finger on the bottom corner, you can see a light flashing on your fingers. If you still do not have a light blinking, you wanna check the seven pin plug with a multimeter and verify power. Remove the seven pin connector. We will flip this thing up and you wanna put your multimeter on volts. And then you wanna take your red and you want to put it on the right hand corner terminal and then the black goes on the left corner terminal and then that will give you your volts to make sure that you have power. After checking your plug with a multimeter and you still do not have power at the plug, another thing to check is the fuse on the vehicle. You will need to look in your vehicle's owner manual for the fuse location for the trailer plug.